the nominees for Best Motion Picture Screenplay are Patrick Sean Duncan, Mr. Holland's Opus. Scott Frank, Get Shorty. Tim Robbins, Dead Man Walking. Aaron Sorkin, The American President. Emma Thompson, Sense and Sensibility. Randall Wallace, Braveheart. And the winner is Emma Thompson, Sense and Sensibility. I can't thank you enough, Hollywood Foreign Press, for honouring me in this capacity. Um, I don't wish to burden you with my debts, uh, which are heavy and numerous, but um, I think that everybody involved in the making of this film knows that we owe all our pride and all our joy to the genius of Jane Austen. And um, it occurred to me to wonder how she would react to an evening like this. <laughs> this is what I came up with. 4 a.m., having just returned from an evening at the Golden Spheres, which, despite the inconveniences of heat, noise, and overcrowding, was not without its pleasures. Thankfully, there were no dogs and no children. The gowns were middling. There was a good deal of shouting and behavior verging on the profligate. However, people were very free with their compliments, and I made several new acquaintances. Miss Lindsay Duran of Mirage, wherever that might be, who is largely responsible for my presence here, an enchanting companion about whom too much good cannot be said. Mr. Ang Lee of Foreign Extraction, who most unexpectedly appeared to understand me better than I understand myself. <laughs> Mr. James Seamus, a most copiously erudite person, and Miss Kate Winslet, beautiful in both countenance and spirit. Mr. Pat Doyle, a composer and a Scot who displayed the kind of wild behavior one has learned to expect from that race. <laughs> Mr. Mark Kenton, an energetic person with a ready smile who, as I understand it, owes me a great deal of money. <laughs> True. Miss Lisa Henson of Columbia, a lovely girl, and Mr. Gareth Wigan, a lovely boy. I attempted to converse with Mr. Sidney Pollock, but his charms and wisdom are so generally pleasing that it proved impossible to get within 10 feet of him. The room was full of interesting activity until 11 p.m. when it emptied rather suddenly. The lateness of the hour is due, therefore, not to the dance, but to the waiting in a long line for a horseless carriage of unconscionable size. The modern world has clearly done nothing for transport. P.S. managed to avoid the Whedon, Emily Tompkinson, who has purloined my creation and added things of her own. Nefarious creature. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>